Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Some readers may find it distressing to read this article's descriptions of dying and terminal illness. In the devastating Coronation Street episode that aired tonight, September 9, 2024, Paul Foreman, played by Peter Ash, passed away. His bereaved husband Billy Mayhew, played by Daniel Brocklebank, was present to see Paul's last moments. Billy was convinced to take a break after dedicating his entire life to caring for Paul, who was diagnosed with motor neuron disease in April 2023. He went to the Chariot Square Hotel to have cocktails with Todd Grimshaw, Gareth Pierce, and David Platt, Jack P. Shepard, after discovering he had misplaced his phone, which had all of his memories of Paul, a hangover Billy was made fun of the following morning by his adoptive daughter Summer Spellman, Harriet Bibby. Billy went back to retrace his steps as Summer and Paul's mother Bernie Winter, Jane Hasselgrove, took care of him. He and an equally exhausted David then returned to the hotel together, finally locating his broken phone and going to a store to replace it. Upon realizing that Paul would not be able to breathe in the apartment, Bernie's younger son Kit Green, Jacob Roberts, hurried to find Billy because they had no other way to get in touch with him. Summer called for an ambulance, but it took 15 minutes to come, and in the time it took, Paul, longing to see his husband, managed to utter Billy's name. While Paul was being transported to the hospital, Bernie pleaded with Asha Alahan, Tanisha Gori, the trainee paramedic, and her colleague to prolong Paul's life. After Kit located Billy and conveyed the heartbreaking news about Paul, Billy had to flee as traffic obstructed their path. Paul's heart was weakening and he had many blood clots in his lungs, according to the doctor who visited the family. Bernie and Summer joined his twin sister Gemma Winterbrown, Dolly Rose Campbell, at his bedside to bid farewell, and they made contact with Billy over the phone. Paul drew his final, deep breath, and Bernie, Gemma, and Summer realized that he was dead as they set the phone next to him and got ready to talk to him. However, Bernie made the choice to conceal this from Billy, giving Billy the opportunity to tell Paul how much he loved him while deceiving him into believing Paul would still be alive. When Billy arrived at the hospital at last, a doctor had just confirmed Paul's death. Billy grieved in front of Paul's body. Actor Ash stepped down from the role after six years, bringing an end to a poignant and impactful depiction of motor neuron illness. Next week, Coronation Street viewers can expect a roller coaster of emotions as a popular character is rushed to the hospital and a surprise visitor arrives. As viewers will recall, last year saw the release of legendary soap opera star Roy Cropper from prison following his erroneous accusation of Lauren Bolton's murder. But since coming back to Weatherfield, Roy's life hasn't been simple. The following week, he leaves the cafe to bring Shona some homemade soup because she says she's sick, only to run into some thugs. They start insulting him, and he collapses to the floor. Though it's obvious he's in pain, Carla rushes to help. But Roy sends Shona and Evelyn out after she admits she wasn't genuinely sick. An ambulance pulls up on the scene as Shona is giving Nina an update on the situation. When Nina and Shona return to the cafe, Roy is still in the middle of CPR. After being rushed to the hospital, he is met by an enigmatic guest at his bedside. Next week, there will be more developments regarding the cobbles. Maria is taken aback to learn in her letter that Mason is scheduled to be freed from prison. Earlier this year, the juvenile bully who threatened Liam Connor with a knife was put behind bars. Unaware that Gary is at the police station with Sarah, giving over his bank statements, Maria makes her way there. Maria presses for an explanation as Gary leaves the interview room, Leanne tells Nick that she will be taking care of Toya for the day in the meantime. But cult leader Rowan calls and asks Leanne to attend a taster session for prospective new recruits. Toya offers to go with her, but Leanne is overjoyed to see Amy at the new recruit session when they get to the Chariot Square Hotel. In a different section of town, Craig tells Beth about the theft episode involving Gemma and expresses his worries about maybe turning Kit into an adversary. 
Betsy suggests to Carla at the factory that they hire her on a full-time basis, but Carla rejects her notion, making Betsy feel betrayed. After seeing something odd in a recent scene with Roy Cropper, viewers of Corey have been left perplexed. After serving as a key suspect in the Lauren Bolton case, Roy, David Nielsen, was freed from the fictional jail of HMP Highfield, the setting for the soap opera, last month. The problematic young girl went missing earlier this year, and Roy was the last person to see her alive, as fans will recall, and Roy quickly rose to prominence as the main suspect. And he was ultimately taken into custody and imprisoned for killing Lauren in horrifying sequences. But, Bent Copper Kit Green, Jacob Roberts, set pedophile Nathan Curtis, Christopher Harper, up for the murder by hiding Lauren's DNA in his van, as a result, Roy was allowed to get out of jail. The truth behind Lauren's disappearance, however, was revealed to viewers, Joel Deering, Callum Lill, a sicko solicitor, actually beat her to death. After being released from prison, Roy went to pick up his niece Molly Gallagher and defense attorney Dee Dee Bailey, Shanique Sterling Brown, who was waiting for him at the prison entrance. Roy glanced up at the sun in the sky as they all embraced as he arrived. Some admirers, it appears, were more disturbed by something bizarre that was hidden behind them. Typically, the facade of HMP Highfield on soap operas represents the gates leading to the soap opera's Manchester production facility. Just a section of the parking lot was utilized for this scene, though. Furthermore, the prison facility behind the walls is fictitious, even though the wide picture depicted Roy walking out the exit gate. On the digital spy forums, fans weren't slow to call attention to the questionable CGI. It's a joke, that wide shot of Weatherfield slash HMP Highfield, someone commented. It is without a roof and without sides. It's only going to be on screen for two seconds, no one's going to notice the bad CGI, did the production team really say that? That jail is laughable, another person stated, contributing their thoughts. One more person added, the shot of the prison after Roy's release and the building is flatter than my singing. Why not just have him walking out a regular door, asked another user on the social media platform. In contrast to that strange CGI jail, nobody would notice or care. When Nina and Shona return to the cafe, Roy is still in the middle of CPR. After being rushed to the hospital, he is met by an enigmatic guest at his bedside. Next week, there will be more developments regarding the cobbles. Maria is taken aback to learn in her letter that Mason is scheduled to be freed from prison. Earlier this year, the juvenile bully who threatened Liam Connor with a knife was put behind bars. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.